61A, lecture number 39, announcements. This is the final lecture of the semester, but there are a few course events after this, including the final exam, which covers all course material through Friday the 22nd of November. That's when we finished up the unit on SQL and declarative programming. For the final exam, you can bring up to three sheets of notes, front and back, eight and a half by 11, that you write yourself. We will provide the midterm one study guide, the midterm two study guide, and a final study guide that we're preparing now and should have released sometime soon. We'll also provide scratch paper. If you'd like to review for the final exam, you can come to class next week, and review sessions will be offered by members of the CS Mentors Organization, which is a student organization that organizes all of the small group tutoring that we have in this course. So that's Monday and Wednesday in Pimentel, Friday in 105 Stanley, or you can watch the screencasts of those events. There will also be smaller topical review sessions. That means about a particular topic. Those will be announced on Piazza. On Sunday, the 15th of December, we'll have the CS61A Project Fair, where your fellow students will tell you about interesting things that they've built over the course of the semester. I can't wait to see what you all have come up with. I encourage all students in this course to come take a look. Homework 11 is due next Friday, Friday of RRR week, and it's worth three points. Here's what you have to do. Fill out the university's course evaluation. Fill out the final online survey where you give us feedback about what parts of the course we can improve, and vote in the Scheme Recursive Art Contest. That's all you have to do in order to complete Homework 11. And if all three are completed by at least 90% of students, then everyone who completed them will get an extra credit point. How do you know what to vote for in the Scheme Recursive Art Contest? We've created a gallery linked here with everybody's entries. And wow, did we have a lot of entries this semester. Let's take a look. In the featherweight division, where the code for the entry has to be less than 512 scheme tokens. We had a spiral, boxing day, a toast, a request for peace in Hong Kong, somebody surfing, and oh, there's a shark. And notice that each of these is described by a haiku. I really do think it's a good idea to go through and look at them. And in fact, if you want to see the source code that's built each one, that's available too. Here are three spirals. Someone took the notion of a haiku a little bit liberally, but the poem is quite clever, so we let it slide. Here's Bart at scheme speed, looking like a big lambda, the process of humility, and someone drew a circle. It is infinite without beginning or end. PG&E is bad. Leaves within leaves. Look at that. The whole leaf looks like that leaf. Oh my, a fractal. Here are some bubbles. A smiley. An amazing looking spiral made out of polygons. And the power is out. So you can see people were really creative I've put these in just a random order. I suggest you take a look at all of them. There's really some amazing stuff in here and a lot of creativity. Some are quite elaborate, some a little bit less so, but a lot of inventiveness and creativity went into this. Oh, the poor kiwi bot is gone. There's a rooftop view of an urban sunset and some smiley faces, another wonderful spiral, some notes. A ball. Uh, I, I just think like this stuff is great. And then in the heavyweight division, we see entries that were more than 512 tokens. 
Somebody drew the X. Somebody drew a 61A t-shirt. Someone drew the Kibiu bot. I think that's supposed to be me. A beautiful river and Fibonacci blooms. Someone's learned to use the command line. Here's a tree. Here's a bridge. Here's one really nice polyhedron. Nezuko. Garfield. Something inspired by M.C. Escher. Some turtles. Christmas decorations. And some really just wonderful art. Fireworks. Animation. And more. We had one entry that was disqualified from voting because it used a predefined image, but I included it anyway because I liked it. So those are the entries of the Scheme Recursive Art Contest. Please vote for your favorite, but I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who entered. The point is not to choose a winner, but to have such a wonderful art gallery to remember this semester by. So thanks very much. Back to the announcements. If you haven't had enough of CS61A yet, there are several ways to stay involved. We have an academic interning program, which is a course where you learn what it's like to teach computer science with a large practical element where you actually attend lab and help the GSIs teach the students. So if you were ever in lab this semester, and had somebody answering your question who wasn't your GSI, that was probably one of our academic interns. And you can do that the semester after you take the course. Some enrollment information for that course will be posted to Piazza sometime in the next couple of weeks. That's a one-unit course. If you want a deeper introduction to teaching computer science, we have a course called CS370, which meets weekly and has weekly assignments where you do a lot of writing. There's also a practical element to that course where you work one-on-one -on -one with students from 61A or various other courses in the department. So if you really want to learn how to teach computer science well and all the interesting issues that arise when teaching this material, then you should enroll in CS370. There's a student group called CS Mentors that organizes all of the group tutoring events and does other helpful stuff, like they've decided to run review sessions next week, and I gave them my classroom so that they could do it. So if you think you're excited about teaching computer science, here is a student group dedicated to that. And finally, at some point, you might want to join the CS61A course staff. People usually don't do this right after they take the course, the more you know about computer science, the better a position you are to teach the course. But you can certainly apply, so here's a link to the application. And it really is wonderful to see students who took the course decide to come back and help teach it in future semesters, so I hope you consider that.